Crafting a successful sitcom involves navigating a myriad of factors. Beyond the necessity of exceptional writing, the delivery of lines hinges on the collaborative efforts of a skilled and cohesive cast. The ability of actors to enhance the scripted words is a coveted objective. Take, for instance, acclaimed sitcoms like Fresh Friends, The Jamie Foxx Show, and Martin. These shows are celebrated not only for their stellar writing, but also for the outstanding chemistry exhibited by their all-star casts. The palpable connection among the actors, demonstrated through seamless interaction, and a distinct rapport undoubtedly contributed to winning over viewers. Martin Lawrence, renowned for his impactful role as the inaugural host of HBO's deaf comedy Jam and memorable performances in films like House Party and Boomerang, undeniably shown as the focal point of his eponymous show. Yet, the dynamic ensemble featuring Tisha Campbell, Tichina Arnold, Carl Payne, and Thomas Mickelford displayed remarkable comedic prowess, contributing significantly to the show's laughter inducing charm. Notably, Carl Anthony Payne II's portrayal of Cole Brown continues to be a topic of discussion among audiences, ensuring that Carl Payne's contribution remains etched in our collective memory. Carl Anthony Payne, a distinguished American actor with a net worth of $1 million, has traversed a notable journey in the realm of entertainment. Hailing from Trenton, New Jersey, Payne's early artistic inclinations led him to graduate from the esteemed Fiorello H. LaGuardia High School of Music and Art and Performing Arts in New York. Further solidifying his foundation in the arts, he continued his education at Howard University. Payne's foray into the world of performance commenced during his formative years, where he first honed his craft in children's theater. This early exposure laid the groundwork for a career marked by versatility and skill. His trajectory includes a diverse array of roles in both television and film, showcasing his adaptability as a performer. The actor made his inaugural mark on the big screen with his debut in the 1985 film The Last Dragon. This cinematic milestone marked the beginning of a career that would see Payne contributing his talents to various projects, earning recognition for his distinctive contributions to the world of entertainment. Carlton's early prominence in the entertainment industry materialized through his portrayal of Walter Cockroach Bradley in Bill Cosby's iconic series, The Cosby Show. Serving as Theo Huxtable's high school friend, Cockroach became a recognizable character in the show's narrative. Remarkably, Payne's journey to secure a role on The Cosby Show involved a notable audition alongside Malcolm Jamal Warner for the character of Theo. Despite facing initial disappointment when the role eluded him, Payne persevered and continued auditioning for other opportunities within the show. Reflecting on those moments in a 2019 interview, Payne expressed his devastation at the time, but acknowledged the profound impact that role would have had on his life. The turning point for Payne came when he secured the part of Cockroach, a character he portrayed for 12 episodes from 1986 to 1987. However, his tenure on The Cosby Show faced an unexpected halt in the fourth season due to a reported dispute over his refusal to cut his hair at Bill Cosby's request. In a candid revelation during the same interview, Payne disclosed that his final interaction with Cosby was far from pleasant, describing Cosby as a complex individual grappling with inner struggles. Following his dismissal, the character of Cockroach was written off the show and seldom referenced thereafter. In the realm of entertainment, success can be elusive, but for Carl Payne, the journey has been a roller coaster ride filled with both highs and lows. Following his stint on The Cosby Show, Payne landed a significant role in the musical drama, Oh Hi. However, the euphoria was short-lived as the drama faced an untimely demise after just nine episodes. Undeterred by this setback, Payne showcased his versatility by making appearances in four episodes of the sitcom True Colors in 1991. This marked the beginning of a transitional phase for the talented actor, who, true to his theatrical roots, embarked on a nationwide tour with a stage play during the same period. It was in 1992 that Payne's life and career took a pivotal turn when he secured a role on the hit sitcom Martin, headlined by the then-rising star Martin Lawrence. Interestingly, 
Payne initially auditioned for the role of Tommy, but fate had a different plan. Martin Lawrence, the show's lead, informed Payne that he had secured the role of Cole due to his ability to evoke laughter. For five seasons, Carl Payne brought to life the character of Cole Brown, Martin's lovable best friend who cohabitated with his mother. Payne's portrayal of Cole was nothing short of remarkable, earning him a nomination for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Comedy Series at the 1996 and the ACP Image Awards. Cole's character resonated with viewers thanks to Payne's impeccable comedic timing and delivery. The audience embraced Cole's endearing, albeit simple-minded, persona, characterized by his humorous remarks that left his friends exasperated and his constant penchant for scheming. His contribution to the success of Martin not only endeared him to fans, but also solidified his place in the annals of television history. Payne's enduring appeal lies not just in his acting prowess, but in his innate ability to bring joy and laughter to audiences, making him a cherished figure in the world of sitcoms. Despite the warmth and laughter seen on screen, Payne candidly disclosed in a 2015 interview with This Is 15 that he and Martin Lawrence face challenges off camera. In Payne's own words, it's no secret. We had a lot of tense days on set. We had issues. He had issues with himself, really. Payne had delicately hinted at Lawrence's personal battles, suggesting that the lead actor was grappling with inner demons during the filming of the show. Reflecting on this period, Payne expressed his hope for Martin's well-being, acknowledging the difficulties his co-star faced. I think he was battling his own demons. I wish him nothing but the best. Hopefully, he's better now. The source of Martin Lawrence's personal struggles, alluded to by Payne, was later revealed to be legal troubles. In April 1997, Lawrence faced charges of battery for allegedly punching a man in a Hollywood nightclub the previous year. The situation escalated as Martin, in a tumultuous state, was detained by police while brandishing a pistol on Ventura Boulevard and Sherman Oaks, passionately exclaiming, fight the establishment and they're trying to kill. The journalist assessing the situation notes, to me, it's clear that whatever Martin was going through in his personal life did spill over onto the show and affected his relationship with his co-stars, mainly Tisha Campbell and Carl Payne. The turbulent events in Lawrence's life evidently had repercussions on the dynamics within the Martin cast. Despite the challenges, Payne emphasized that he cherished his time on set, describing his co-stars as family due to the strong chemistry they shared. Beyond the memorable run of Martin, that concluded in May of 1997, Carl Payne's journey in Hollywood continued, showcasing his versatility in various sitcoms. Post Martin, he made guest appearances in well-known shows like The Hewleys, The George Lopez Show, and Girlfriends. However, it was in 2003 that Payne marked his return to television with the UPN sitcom Rock Me Baby, albeit with the show lasting only one season. Despite the ups and downs in his television career, Payne remained a constant presence, consistently taking on roles in both TV and small film projects. Not confined to the screen, Payne ventured into the world of stand-up comedy, using it as a new platform to connect with his audience. In an interview with Comedy Hype, he candidly expressed his frustration at being solely recognized for his role in Martin, emphasizing that he had much more to offer as an entertainer. He stated, I appreciate and love everything I've done in the past, but it doesn't define the totality of who I am outside of entertainment. However, Payne's life took an unexpected turn away from the camera. In November 2011, TMZ reported that Payne had become a car salesman, specializing in the sale of cameras. Initially undertaken as research for an upcoming role, Payne found himself drawn to the profession. In his own words, I like it. I got a family, and there's no shame in taking care of your family. It was later discovered that his involvement in the Sherman Hensley film, Clunkers, was likely the project he referred to in the interview. Payne's journey after a brief hiatus saw him venture into car sales, showcasing his adaptability outside the entertainment sphere. Resuming his television career, Payne made a triumphant return with roles in popular series such as The Game and the limited series 
for richer or poorer, derived from the original stage play. The resurgence continued as he delved into sitcom territory once more, joining the cast of the comedy One Love, portraying the son of Mark Curry and Cheryl Lee Ralph. However, amid his career highs, Payne navigated a difficult period in his personal life. It came to light that his marriage of two decades was coming to an end, with his wife, Malika Payne, filing for divorce. Intriguingly, the couple had tied the knot in the same year Payne secured his iconic role in Martin. The couple shared a familial bond, raising four sons together. As Payne's professional and personal landscapes evolved, fans of the iconic sitcom Martin expressed a collective desire to see a reboot of the show. Rumors circulated, hinting at the potential return of the beloved cast to the small screen. However, the prospect of a reunion took a somber turn in October 2016, when Payne's former co-star Tommy Ford, who played Tommy Strawn, passed away due to complications from a ruptured abdominal aneurysm. In a poignant revelation, Payne shared his heartfelt sentiments about Ford's untimely demise. He recounted the emotional experience of making an emergency visit to the hospital to see his ailing friend. Payne's words reflect the profound impact of witnessing Ford, once full of life, in a vulnerable state. So I had to catch, like, the five o'clock in the morning flight, and I went straight to the hospital, and it was crazy because I see my man laying in him, and whoa, it just wasn't cool, you know? So like, I didn't really want to see him like that, it was just so surreal because he was so full of life. Several years would go by, and in February 2018, TMZ caught up with Martin Lawrence, Tisha Campbell, and Ticina Arnold. The three were seen walking out of Morton's Steakhouse in Burbank, California. Notably, this marked the first public appearance of Lawrence and Campbell together since Campbell's 1997 sexual harassment lawsuit against Lawrence. Amidst the speculation about a potential reboot, the trio was questioned about the prospect, prompting Campbell to respond, We in talks, young as." The video of this impromptu interview went viral, stirring excitement among fans who eagerly wondered about the fate of their favorite characters, including the beloved Cole. Would he make a return if a reboot were to materialize? The anticipation reached a turning point when, just two weeks later, Carl Payne took to Instagram to share a snapshot of himself and Lawrence, signaling a reunion after years of silence. Payne's caption reflected a spirit of positivity and growth. I always wish the best for people and hope that they grow. It was all about positive vibes. We lost a good friend of ours, so at the end of the day, none of that matters. When questioned about the possibility of returning to the 96 sitcom, Payne responded with enthusiasm, saying, Absolutely, why not? I think that people wanted it. I think that's long overdue, you know what I'm saying? We created magic in a bottle, and why not do it again? In 2019, discussions about a reboot surfaced, and Carl Payne affirmed that he and the cast were indeed exploring the possibility of collaborating once more. However, the focus shifted towards a different project rather than a revival of Martin, Mansion in California. In late 2023, we had the privilege of visiting the residence of Carl Anthony Payne II in Los Angeles, California, and were granted the opportunity to capture the essence of his remarkable home. According to public records, Payne acquired this residence for $630,000. Upon entering, the captivating features of the house come to light, showcasing high ceilings, abundant natural light, and recessed lighting throughout its expansive living spaces. Boasting four bedrooms and three bathrooms, the residence spans nearly 2,000 square meters. Inside, notable features include granite countertops, indoor laundry facilities, a fireplace, and distinct formal living and dining areas. The layout situates all bedrooms on the second floor, with the master suite offering a private bath and shower. The allure of the house extends to the outdoors, where a spacious backyard beckons directly from the family room. This area provides ample space for hosting gatherings and events, 
fostering an environment for endless entertainment. Additionally, the property features supplementary storage space on the side, enhancing its practicality and functionality. Our glimpse into the house of Carl Anthony Payne II not only unveils the physical attributes of a luxurious residence, but also reflects the personal taste and lifestyle of the esteemed actor, charity work. Despite not being an excessively wealthy actor, Carl Payne's generosity and warmth shine through. In 2022, Payne actively engaged in numerous fundraising activities and events, notably contributing to a fundraiser dedicated to Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. His benevolent spirit manifested in a substantial donation of $30,000 towards these causes. Payne's commitment to philanthropy underscores his compassionate nature and willingness to make a positive impact beyond the realm of entertainment. Thank you for watching the entire video. Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this, and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.